All right, so we're here, Adventures with the Vices. We are at Prairie Creek Park in Terre Haute, Indiana. Inside the car just passed us. Um, and we're gonna go do the Elliott Woods Trail. And it's gonna be a good time. It's March, so it's not real green out yet, but we're gonna see what we can do. Oh, that's not creepy. What? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, and there's a glove too. Okay. Okay, well. Well, let's get this adventure going, shall we? <laughs> I feel a little bit like less confident about how this is going to go now, for sure. There might be a little ghost kid that we run into, who knows. I wish it was green out, but it's good to be outside in March. We're on the wrong sides here. Oh. I don't like it. There we go. That's anyway. better. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Here we are. So this is like the walk up to the trail. There's a lot of like, I don't know. I think these are like cattails whenever it's green out. I'm sure we'll come back here so everybody can see what it looks like when it's like blooming. 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 But it's probably going to be a shorter journey than usual because this is a work night for us. But it was so nice out, we had to come and just, just experience nature. Well, yeah. To the right or to the left? Um, to the left. But give me a second. Good news is I've already heard some of the um, leaves ruffling, <laughs> rustling, ruffling, rustling. So there's that. Could be that little kid whose shoes we saw earlier. I just went into that patch of like old cattails, and there was a bunch of like matted down area where like some deer have been sleeping, but no, no deer. And now we're on the trail. It's definitely beautiful out. Like I said, you know, it's it's better when it's green, but it's just good to get outside. And we already found all the geocaches here. This is like not far from our house at all, so we come here pretty often. And I think we found all the geocaches here. It took us a few attempts, but so there'll be no geocaching today. This is just a nature journey video, but nature journeys are fun. So you get to see things you don't see all the time, like trees. <laughs> trees. Trees are really rare in this area. And look, there's one, there's one there. And there's one there. <laughs> and there's one there. Trees in their natural like so, habitat. Such a rare occurrence. Keep your eyes peeled for that shoeless and gloveless little girl that is probably <laughs> running around here somewhere. Well, there's a squirrel over there rustling some leaves. Yes, yeah, it's, it's so nature. It's almost mushroom season. I'm excited about that. I think feel like I feel like this might be a good place to go mushroom hunting. I just I thought it was kind of weird how these leaves were just like they look like they're vibrating. Obviously, it's from the slight wind that we have. Yeah, they really do. That's pretty cool. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Nature, you know. I guess we should also mention that since we're at Prairie Creek Park, this place. We hit the nature trails because we really like to like go on nature journeys, but they also have like um, a pretty decent sized pond that has like huge bass in it. We saw some huge bass. Squirrel! There's a squirrel. That is a gray, is that a gray squirrel? I think it was a gray squirrel. I told you they were, we had gray squirrels around here. I thought that was just an Aldi. Um, anyway, I'm gonna see if this is a gray squirrel real quick. I like these trails because they've got these bridges, just like made up, really nice. I don't know where it went. Up in the tree, obviously, but. He's gone. Anyway, I Creek's think not running very well. good. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, they've got a couple of like really decent sized ponds that have some big old bass in them. We saw some uh, last time we were here. And then there's several geocaches in the actual park part. They've got a really nice playground, so like 
good place to take the family to get out of the house for a little while, for sure. Especially if you live around here. But even if you don't, you know, just get out and experience Whoa, it. Whoa look at that. That's cool looking. Little rotten tree. Rotten mm. tree fell into that tree and making it tip. Oh, it's leaning up against that tree. That tree. Wow. It's the only reason it's still standing is because the other tree caught it. <laughs> I got you, boo boo. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Look at that one. Look how weird that is. You see how it's like bent? How crazy is that? It is pretty weird. Damn, nature, you crazy. Damn, nature, you crazy. <laughs> I don't remember if there was a sign or like what. I think this is like a 1.4 mile trail, so pretty like, not too bad. It's a uh, moderate, I think it's moderate difficulty. There's a lot of hills and stuff, but it's not bad. There's gravel, so, you know. Whoa, what happened there? Holy crap. That guy just got twisted. Twisted. Trying to hold the camera as still as possible, but sometimes it's hard when you're walking up and down. Some vicious terrain. Vicious terrain. It's honestly not that bad. Yeah. There might have been some people doing some voodoo out here. Look, there's an eye on that tree. Wait, what? Oh, there is. Mm -hmm. I see you. That's crazy. <laughs> it's weird. Hoodoo voodoo stuff. You just never know what you'll find out there. <clears throat> never know what you'll find in nature. In general. Sometimes you find stuff that's not nature and it's like that's kind of cool too. Somebody took the time to do that. Why are you always pointing that thing at me? <laughs> I'm sure they would probably like to see you over, over just this. I mean, this is beautiful, obviously, but... Yeah, this is pretty good. Like I said, it'd be nice if it was green, but... We'll get, get there. The house. Oh, this log is pretty cool. I'm gonna walk across it. Wow, it's like all over the good and shit. Try this at home. Wow, look at this. Hello? <laughs> no animals in there, so that's good. Whoa. Whoa. Let me see if I can get up here. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got up there just fine. It's kind of creepy in there, though. Yeah. Okay. The dismount. <laughs> Stuck it. <laughs> All right, here. Okay. <laughs> See what she's got. Whoa. I'm terrible at being the camera person. I'll try it, though. All right. That's why I'm normally the camera person. Yes, you are. I'm a little bit better at it than you are. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah. Oh, look at that tree. That's kind of crazy. It's all like rotten and shit. Rotten and shit. Wow. I'm really hoping that's a dog paw, not anything else. It looks like a dog track, though. You guys decide, is that a dog, dog paw? Who knows? Dog paw. Even if nobody watches this crap, I'm having fun, so I don't really care. <laughs> That's all that matters. You just get out in the air and in the nature and have fun. Yes. Okay, we got some obstacles coming up our way. Oh my goodness. Cool stairs. See how she handles Somewhat it. Managed. See how she handles this. These obstacles. Oh wow, like a pro. 
not surprised. Not surprised one bit. That's just how I roll, you know? <laughs> it's the perfect time to put on your sunglasses. So, I guess we didn't tell our viewers, like both of them or one or whoever watches this stuff. Um, last time, we uh, thought we were at Kegel Mill Dam and we tried to uh, video record that and then our camera said that it was full. <laughs> and so we thought we needed to go get a new memory card, so we just did that today. It turns out we were accidentally saving the video to the actual like hard drive of the camera and the memory card that we had was completely empty. My so we, we didn't even have to buy one, but at least now we got it. So we're committed to making nature videos now. We just got into it, okay? <laughs> slack. I was still learning the technology. Yeah, this is video like two and a half because we never finished the Kegel Mill one because of the the, the malfunction with the camera. Two and a half, that would be... Would well, we be had a full two. one at the bike park. That was our first video. Oh yeah, that's right. And then like half a one at Kegel Mill Dam. But the thing about that one was that the the whole reason I wanted to go there was closed. So it was like... It was all right. It was all right that it happened, you know? Yeah. Maybe we'll go back when the thing is open and then we can actually like check it out. Yeah. <clears throat> He's so cute. Did you hear that? Yeah, it sounded like a person. I don't know, there's just so much nature out here, it's just hard to tell. But it sounded like a person, so like... Yeah, I feel like it came from over there, but... I don't know. It might have been my stomach. I don't think I've ate today. I didn't either, that's why Actually, I ate that. Actually, I did eat today. I had a couple of those chocolate cupcakes. Oh, yes. Hostess chocolate cupcakes. Mm, cool. Yeah. I think they were hostess. Are they hostess? I don't know what they are. I don't know. I just know they were moist and they were good. Yes. Oh, I said moist. <laughs> wow, there's just so much. Whoa, what was that? Okay, it was a squirrel. Never mind. It was a squirrel. Thought it was something good. No, it was just a squirrel. Trust me, you'll know if it's a squirrel. I'll tell you. Oh, right. I have a fascination with squirrels. I want a pet squirrel, but I don't think our cats would like that too much. Well, they probably would love that, to be honest, for like a couple minutes until they killed it. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, yeah, I don't want my pet squirrel to get killed, so... Yeah, so we have three cats at home. Simba, Rafiki, and then Jensen. We did have a cat named Nala, but she kind of sucked, so we got rid of her and then got Jensen. She went to a good <clears throat> home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't like anything bad. She just wasn't a good fit for our family. Yeah, girl cats are just like not what I'm looking for in a cat most of the time. Girl cats. Neutered boy cats. Cat. That's where it's at. Girl cats like don't really need you though. They're not like... Not as loving. Oh no. no, they haven't maintenance the trail in a while. <laughs> oh, we've got an obstacle. Tree down! Got a major <laughs> obstacle here. And it's right on the bridge. I'm glad it didn't fall like on the bridge, but... Yeah. Yeah. Would have ruined the bridge. Good thing. <clears throat> Shake the bridge. Shake the bridge. Nice little peaceful creek. I love the sound of running water. It's just so, so amazing. Soothing. Very soothing. In fact, we sleep to it some nights. Yes. I don't know if anybody else out there likes to listen to like sounds of the rainforest when they go to sleep, but like that's what I'm about. What? I just heard a woodpecker. So I got distracted. I don't see a woodpecker. I said I heard it. I didn't say I saw it. I said I heard it. There's okay, a big difference well. there, sweetheart. <clears throat> what? Oh, some of this ground's still wet, so be careful. It's starting to get treacherous. Okay, now that does not look like Whoa. a Whoa. 
Maybe it is. Maybe that's just where the claws dug into the mud. Yeah, but they're right there together. That just seems like I don't know, something, foot, foot? something I don't else. I've always heard that there's like um, cougars or bobcats or something in this area. A lot of people talk about that. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. We actually saw one behind work one day. Did you see it with your own eyes or did you hear other people talk about it? No, um, a dude that I work with had just seen it and I walked up like right after the fact. And then, I don't know if I really necessarily believe the dude that I work with, but another dude, like a contractor was there working on something and he had seen it too and he showed me a video of it. Mm. Wow, that's really so, peaceful. Yeah, the only reason I stopped is because I wanted to tell you that I don't feel like going to the ER today, so I was going to walk across that log. Oh. But I'm thinking that's probably a bad idea. Yeah, it's not really like on the ground, if you can tell, it's like up against the tree over there, so. Yeah, but that tree has to weigh more than I do, so it's obviously holding that up. Yeah, I don't know. You don't know? That's kind of wild. Well, I'm kind of wild sometimes. <laughs> you know. Oh snap, fat man. So we're probably about halfway through the trail now, I would say. Starting to get to the back part where all the hills and hollers start. Hills and hollers. Oh, this is freshly cut. Looks like. Yeah, it looks like there was a log block in the path at one point. I just heard some ruffling off in the distance. Probably another squirrel. More than likely. There's a lot of squirrels out here. You know, if we made, like, multiple trips here, like, kind of on a regular basis, I could possibly get some of the squirrels to come up to me and let me feed them out of my hand. Yeah, we should have brought the stuff for that. I just really want to pet a squirrel. Next time we go to Deming. I want to know how fluffy they feel. I feel like their tail is super fluffy, but the rest of their body, maybe not. I kind of want to eat one, to be honest with you. Look at that tree, just... What? Don't look at me like that. I wonder what they taste like. A lot of people eat them. Wow, that's so crazy. Well, I've, I've had multiple chances to eat squirrel, and I refuse. Absolutely refuse. Huh. I just hmm, can't bring myself to do it, you know? I could. I don't care. I don't know that squirrel. <laughs> like, chicken and turkey and, like, cow and pig, like, they're not as cute as a squirrel, so I have no problem eating those, but they're cute. They're just not as cute as a squirrel. Baby cows are cute. Isn't that where one of the geocaches is? I think this is where one of the geocaches was. I swear. Is it the one that looks like a house? I think so, yeah. Yeah, this does kind of look familiar. Because remember this already over and we saw the little dinosaur sitting on it. Okay, let's look and see if we can find it. Yeah, I thought it was somewhere down in here. This looks like somewhere a geocache would be. There it is. Oh, you're right. It's a little house geocache. It's one of the coolest ones we've found. It's almost like a little piggy bank and then the container is right in there. But yeah, this one took us two separate attempts to find. First time our, uh, we were pretty new to geocaching. Our GPS was kept being thrown off. But what happens when you're in the woods? In me, What happens when you're a noob? A noob. It's kind of crazy. I wonder what happened here. Looks like a... I don't think that it's a deer good. rub. What if it was a beaver? I feel like it would have been lower if it was a beaver. beaver. I don't know. It looks like a deer rub, but it's like too... It has to be a monster deer. This is a perfect spot to put a geo. Yes. This I'm hollowed out tree. There's one not in there already. Yeah, it's a cool spot for one, for sure. You definitely have to make sure that it wasn't like... Look like, how hollowed out this thing is. It's noticeable, like... like Probably right up, like if you had a small one and put it right up underneath. Trying to get a good shot of this. That. So that way people couldn't see it coming to, like coming down the trail. 
Like if you were homeless and you just needed somewhere to like weather a storm, you could definitely fit inside there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, for sure. Whew. I am ready for it to be green though. Yeah, me too. Do you think that would hold me up if I tried to go swinging like George of the Jungle? I don't know, you could try. Mm. I don't think this is a good idea. It should be good. I don't think it'll hold her up, just for the Whoa. record. Solely for your entertainment. This isn't going to go I'm sure well I'd probably all. swing on it, but I'm not going to just because I know that I'd fall. That was a wise decision on your part. Okay, baby, that sounds good. What were you saying? Nothing. Just nature journey and... Liar. <laughs> you have to watch it back to see what I said. Look, there's another well, little hiding I spot. Edit the video. Look at how they've grown together, though. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't even notice that. They're two separate trees. Hold on, I'm going to back up two so we can trees. see. I don't know how to do all that fancy zoom and stuff, but... <laughs> Yeah. It's zoomed out as far as it can, so you can only zoom in, but... Yeah, there's two trees that have grown separately. And then right there, they grew together, like a little burl or something. And then they go separate again. But, wow. That's are crazy. Are they two different kinds of trees? You're the plant expert. No, I think those are the same. Their bark looks the same. Well, no, it doesn't. It kind of does. A little bit. Ish. I don't know. We they look the same to me. We need to learn more about plants. I used to know, but that was like 10 years ago. I used to be able to just look at bark on a tree and tell you what kind of tree it was. Why can't you do that now? It was a little long time ago. I don't remember how to do it. I know some, like the obvious ones. I can point out like a sycamore or... Oh, what's oh. that over there? Got to show the one part of nature that I dislike, and it's this little guy right here. Let's see if I can get him on camera. Where are you at, buddy? Oh, there you are. Oh nope, it doesn't want to focus. But it's a nice little spider in his web. You got to watch out for those, especially when things are green. Yes. <laughs> Spiders are everywhere. Look at this tree. Those are deer tracks there. Oh, for sure, yeah. Definitely deer tracks. Definitely deer tracks. Oh, you have a cute butt. <clears throat> Please don't hurt yourself. He is one of the most uncoordinated people I know, so... It's almost like a tree roller coaster. This tree is like really conveniently positioned to like support you. <laughs> Who's uncoordinated now? Uh oh. That would have been like the worst time to fall. That would have been the best time. I would have laughed my ass off, then made sure he was okay. Anything on the other side? No. That was cool though, that's such a cool tree. <clears throat> it's crazy that it like grew like that though. Cause it had to have grown like that. Yeah. It's weird. Cool. Nature is weird sometimes. Oh, look at that. You can kind of see. I don't know if you can on this camera. I don't know how actually good quality this camera is, but you could see some green popping in. I love to see the green. Look at this tree. <laughs> oh, that doesn't seem very safe, but I think it was like this the last time we were out here, too, and we walked under it just fine. It's not a ladder, so we're good. You want to act like you're holding it up? No. I was just trying to push it to see if it would fall. Are you There's a lot it? of just fucking firewood laying around here. 
I wonder if they'd just let me cut it up and take it and sell it for firewood. Then we could advertise my firewood selling business on our YouTube channel. And then when people go out to these spots that we take them to, then they'll buy firewood for me because they'll all have my face on them. Like a little brand or something, you know? Phil's firewood, but firewood spelled with a PH like Phil. <laughs> kind of like that new fireworks store we have. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to talk about it. That wasn't Phil's me. fireworks. Wasn't me. It's a good but idea, though. PH. Yeah. Yeah, it's basically exactly the same thing. I thought that I had a good idea, but I guess I stole it from the firework, the firework guy. He's probably a 1L Philip, though. <laughs> what do you have against 1L Phillips? They're just. Shout out to all the double L Phillips, like you know what I mean. Like you ever met a single Eller and it's just like, what are you doing, bro? They're all, I shouldn't say all. A lot of the ones I've met are just like not double Ellers, you know what I mean? Like, at all. Whoa, I dropped my water. Like I said, uncoordinated. Our water. <laughs> <laughs> all right, anyway my rant. All right, we're going to take a quick uh, break so that we can get rehydrated and replenish ourselves and we will be right back. Yes. All right, so we are back. We are replenished, refueled, and ready to go. Refueled. Got a little drink mm -hmm. of water, a little bit of nature. A little bit of nature. Oh, there's another hole in a tree. I'm gonna send them first. There's an animal in there. I can't see anything in there. Oh, those are just bugs. It's okay. No, there's nothing in there. Little girl's not in there. No. Nope. Ready to play peekaboo. My thing happened. is though, is like, how do you lose your child's shoe and not notice? Yeah, and and their glove. And it's like, what were they doing out here in the woods when it was cold enough that they needed gloves in the first place? That was like a little bitty kid glove. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, look at this. I love like when there's all these like little mushroom looking thingies on a tree. Aren't those some form of fungi? Yeah. So are mushrooms. Yeah, it's some kind of fungi. Shout out, um, shout out that fungi documentary on Netflix if you guys haven't seen it. I don't even know. I think it's called like Fantastic Fungi. Or yes. Something like that. But I, I don't want to spoil it, but it is the most mind blowing thing I've ever seen in my entire life. So if you like outdoors and nature and plants and stuff, you gotta watch that fungi documentary. It's like the coolest thing ever. Yes. Ever. I've, see, I've watched it twice, um, mainly because the first time we turned it on, he decided to fall asleep on the couch. <laughs> I was sleepy. And I was just, oh, roadblock. Obstacles. Let's see how he handles this, folks. The most difficult way possible, clearly. He's a little on the strange side sometimes. Perfect. All right, now. Okay. Oh, you're a show off. You're such a show off. So yes, um, Fantastic Fungi on Netflix. Definitely a great documentary. Um, very knowledgeable too. Like, yeah. Kind of just blew my mind, honestly. Well, one thing that he says in it, like, I'm gonna butcher it. I don't remember exactly what he says, but he says like that fungi are like everywhere and like they're they're everywhere underground and they're connected to everything and like there's more fungi I think don't quote me on this I'm not sure I think there's more fungi than like any other organism in the world but a lot of it's like underground and it's all connected and it sends each other messages and it's just mind-blowing it's an hour and a half of the most mind-blowing thing you've ever seen and we don't even know the guy, we just watched it, and like, 
now we're putting a plug in for it because it was so cool. It, so it, cool. it was a very good documentary. I'm not like huge on documentaries. Like I definitely will watch them um, if there's something I'm interested in. But when he first turned it on, I'm like, oh, great. A documentary about mushrooms. I'm going to love this. <laughs> and then I just could not keep my eyes off of it. It was just so fascinating. <clears throat> and, it, and you learn a lot too, though. Yeah. I don't retain a lot sometimes, but I did learn a lot like, in the moment. For sure. I would watch it again, honestly. Just to like get a refresher. But the dude, I do remember another story from it. The dude had... He tried like magic mushrooms one time and he said something about that he climbed up in a tree to like try to get a better view of the sky because he was like really feeling it and then all of a sudden a thunderstorm rolled in and he had his first psychedelic mushroom trip up in a tree during a thunderstorm like so scared that he couldn't move and I was just like dude that would be like a religious experience like couldn't handle it but Anyway, he tells the story better than me because it happened to him, not me. I just heard it from him, but, you know. Uh, yeah, so side note, I think I found out what they are doing with all of that heavy-duty equipment. What are they doing? I don't know if y'all can see, but there is a bunch of trees being cleared, which huh. is very depressing. But it, there's also a house over there, so they might own, like, part of the land and want it cleared or something. I don't know. I don't think... Like, I get clearing it a little bit, but, I mean, come on. Save some nature for us. Well, this part's really close to the road, so they could also be trying to make another entrance, maybe. Probably not, but I'm just trying to think positive. The yeah. road is, like, literally... Like, look, here, this kind, there kind of is a trail right here to the road. Oh, there is. I don't know why they had to clear all that out, so they're probably doing something else, but they did I bet, it. I bet they're putting in new power lines. Yeah. Yeah, that could be it. You just never know what you're going to find in nature, honestly. Like, I mean, everything is so dead because it's, you know, just starting to turn spring. But then if you look closely and you pay attention... I almost stepped on this, but we already have little blooms popping up of these little wild flowers that are really pretty. I like this. But this so is what caught my I eye like right this. here. This moss right here is just absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how good the quality is like on it. there. Oh is my it soft? Goodness. Yeah, it feels like so. Wow. wow. <laughs> this little like piece of beauty is just stuck. Just stuck. Stuck right here in the middle of a dead forest. So you definitely want to be like watching, you know, when you're out in nature and just see what crazy plants you can find or... It just goes to show that like even when things like are <clears throat> in their ugliest state, there's still some beauty to be found. Like that moss just... Out there by itself, just being beautiful, and it's like most people would walk past that, but like it's so, it's just so good vibey. We were drawn to it. Yes. <clears throat> There's another one of those trees that you were talking about. Gotta follow the good vibes. They are. They're putting in poles. Oh man. New. Uh, you guys probably can't see it because it's still kind of far away, but they're putting in new utility poles. <coughs> that are larger so they're having to cut down a bunch of the trees and so now this portion of the trail is like not even going to be that wooded anymore because yeah, they're cutting dude. them all down the road is right there what the hell like i never remember being able to see the road and we've been here several times probably like at least four or five times we've walked this trail i i would say more than that to be maybe honest. ten I used to run it, actually, back in the day. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the road's just right there. There's the new telephone pole that I saw from back there. Man. And they're going with, it looks like a metal pole now instead really of the wooden ones. It. They really need it. They had to destroy wood because of it. I mean, regardless, this place is still... A nice place. I mean, that's just one section of this long trail that, well, 
semi-long. We've definitely been on longer. Um, yeah. Sometime this summer, we need to try to do the six ravine challenge and videotape it. Yes, yes. Um, I think we'll probably have some friends with us on that one. Yeah. For sure. Um, see if we can get some some of our good friends down and. That's like the crown jewel of hiking around here. Six crazy ravines. I think it's like ends up being like 900 steps or something because you have to walk back down after you climb up the ravine. And we tried it one time and we accidentally did it backwards and we were going up the stairs and down the ravine and it was muddy and I think we both had like slides on and it was just like a disaster. But we still made it through four of them. But we didn't start till like noon so like I know we can do it. Oh yeah. At the end you get a sticker, that's the best part. Like. Yeah. Trying to get that See, originally when I when I was looking at it though, like I thought it said you get a free sticker. Turns out you get a sticker for a dollar and I just saw a woodpecker. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not gonna be able to get it on camera, but I definitely just saw a red-headed woodpecker. Um I don't know a whole lot about birds, but I can name a few, kinda like your trees. Yeah, Some of the obvious ones. But he just found a tree he was gonna probably make his home in or dig for his dinner. It's about dinner time. Yes. We gotta figure out what we're making when we get home too. Yes, because you never want a nature journey on a full stomach, like. Yeah, I did that today, but like, it's still like, yeah, I would not recommend it. It's not the best. Like a small snack during your nature journey, just to, you know, have some subs substance, sub sustenance? Yeah, all those things. <laughs> yeah, um, in your system. That's like, we obviously are not nutritionists, so we have no fucking idea, but we know how to not feel miserable while out on a nature journey, because we have made the mistakes and felt miserable out on a nature journey before. Something that's nice to have if you're going on like a super long nature journey, like an all day thing, um, is like you want to bring like a sandwich, a good like decent sandwich, like lunch meat sandwich with like all your favorite stuff on it keep it in your little cooler and then you'll know when the time's right. You'll come to that beautiful spot where there's somewhere to sit down and everybody's hungry and then you're just like, I'm so glad I brought my favorite sandwich. That happened to me once and it was it was like godlike. So, but then also fruit is good to bring too. Or like uh if you're into raw vegetables, raw vegetables would be good too. Raw vegetables. Yeah. Broccoli, cauliflower, just stuff Carrots. that's like good for your body and gives back to nature and yeah and please please do not throw your trash in the woods why, why do people do that it's just like you carry the stuff in we always have a decisions, bag decisions oh decisions we always have decisions too but um we always have a bag to the left is sh longer to the right is shorter well, let's go to the right. To the right? To the right, to the right. I mean, it's not even, it's not in the woods. It just wraps around this just little inside field area. If you look over here, you can see where it's all matted down. That probably means that deer have been sleeping there. Anyway, what were you saying? Um, oh yeah, we always carry like a bag. Um, like those drawstring bags will work. Any type of bag. It doesn't have to be a huge expensive hiking bag or anything fancy just something that you can keep a few snacks in you know and then make sure you always bring water but when you have the bottles of water in your bag they're heavier than what they are when they're empty so I don't understand why people yeah. put the empty bottle out like just shove it back in your bag and call it a day like it's like are you picking stuff up on the trail where you can't fit that back in your bag you know you stick collecting? Like, what are you doing? Why do you do that? Because, <laughs> you know, if you keep leaving your plastic bottles, they're not very good for the earth, so... Even if it's, like, a biodegradable item, it's still just, like, it looks like crap. Why would you do that? People are going to come and then be like, oh, this place sucks because it's littered and trashy. We've got to keep these parks alive, man. Got to keep them alive, you know? Yeah, I feel like if you don't have nature, like 
obviously some people will probably know like what seasonal depression is. And it's always during the winter months um, in the Midwest because you can't really go out and do anything because yeah. it's too cold, you know, and there's nothing to do. So like during that period, you kind of like get into this mood where you're like, eh, I don't really want to do anything. And you just get kind of depressed. And then once that warm weather hits, you're like, nature journey. Yes. We Which, just kind of got out of that. Like this is only what, like our third nice day <laughs> that we've been able to go out and do something. Yep. I think our third, we didn't document our first one. Our first trip was, uh, we'll go there sometime, but it's Deming Park and then we hit uh, the Maple Trail. Yeah. Two nice places. They're not as wooded as this place though. So like, if you're wanting to be like out, out in nature, squirrel. Sorry. I still feel like there might be some value in like showing people around like even not wooded stuff, maybe even like cool ponds or like, you know. Oh yeah, I'm not just saying not to go there, like you should definitely go check them out, but it, I'm just letting them know that, you know, it's not as wooded as this. Sorry, we're going downhill, so I'm having a hard time keeping the camera still. <laughs> um, it's, it's just, if you're looking for something more covered and wooded and kind of away from people, these are more of the places to go. Naturific. 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 But, you know, if you just kind of want to just be outside and you don't care if there's a bunch of people and you just kind of want to be out in fresh air in like a nice park, like Maple Avenue and um, Deming are very, very good. Yes. Deming has some woods, some trails, but... Uh, the cool thing about it, and it's right here in town too, is they have a frisbee golf course, which is like dope. <laughs> if you ever, I don't know, it's so much fun. I've only played once, but like, like shout out to any park that's got a frisbee golf course, because that's like, what's up? That's what's up. Anyway, sorry, yeah. that was my rant. Honestly, I thought you were gonna say something about how Deming Park is like loaded full of pokey stops. Yes. For our Pokemon Go viewers. If you're a Pokemon <laughs> Go fan, like, there's, I don't know how many, probably 20. It's a, The whole park is a circle you can drive around. And there's probably, I'm not even exaggerating, probably 20 Pokestops. And like and four gyms? Like four or five gyms. Yeah. And then uh, there's something else. Oh, well, there's always obviously a bunch of Pokemon around the Pokestop. So, like, it's a good place to, like pokey hunt but then also like stock up on your balls and supplies and shit. This is where the other geocache is. Yes. It's under here. The new bridge. This took us forever to find. Yeah, but, well because the GPS had me, I, I swear my geosensors were saying that tree over there and then come to find out is I'm it still sure. there? Yeah. Oh, it fell. I'm going to have to put it back. Oh um, no, it did fall. Yeah, make sure you put that back up there. I bet somebody like came and found it and then just didn't put it all the way back. They're like, eh, this is hidden enough. Probably would have been easier to come from the other side, hey, sweetheart. Listen. Oh, yes. It's gotta go back in its right foot spot. You did not wear the right shoes. I don't care. I had to. Just throw your geocache down. Put it back where it came from. I don't know. Here, baby. Whew. Yes. This is beautiful right here. This is very pretty. Got a view from this side. We're just gonna go. We're just gonna do a wrap around. As you can tell, the sun's starting to set, and we got off work and then jumped in the car and took off nature journey. And ooh, hey, handsome. Hey. <clears throat> just a beautiful little spot. I Another like the way tree. Up, I was just gonna say I like the way uprooted trees look, especially from this angle. It's just like you can't believe how big a root system is on the tree. You know what I just realized? What? I don't know if you remember this, but one of the first times we came out here and oh, we were I roared. You got up on there and roared like Simba <laughs> from the Lion King. Yeah. Oh, we got a wet spot. Obstacle, how is he going to handle it? Walk oh. in the, uh, walk in the leafy area. 
I'm shocked that he did that a smarter fashion this time around. Okay, well, not as interesting. He's a big goofball sometimes, so. Yeah, but I'm not going to ruin my shoes over it. I already, like, got them. Pretty muddy. Yeah, because it was a geocache. Yeah, but it was a good save. Yeah, yeah I had to. I had to. Anybody would have done that. Any geocacher would have done that. <laughs> yeah. If you didn't know what it was, you'd be like, what in the hell is this? Why does it have, like, a plastic toy dinosaur and a notebook with people's names in it? You'd probably think that it was some, like, fucked up kid who wanted to, like, shoot everybody at his school or something. Oh, my like God. It was his box, and he just left it there on accident. <laughs> okay, so on a different note, yes. Um, a lot of people don't even know that geocaching exists. Like, there's still people that we know that, like, don't even know what it is. And we have to explain it to them. And we normally just say it's like a, an adult treasure hunt, but you leave the treasure there. Occasionally, you do find ones that have, like, little little treasures in little quotation trinkets, marks. Trinkets. Little trinkets. Trinkets, you know. Ones for kids have, like, dollar, like, quarter toys in it and stuff. Just cheap stuff. But it's it's just for the experience, you know? Yeah. We like to leave. We actually have this thing. Um, it's called the Geocache Rockers. But we paint rocks, like, little cool designs on rocks. Which we we learned that from the, the rock painting people. But then we incorporated it into geocaches. So we have these rocks that are painted. And we put little inspirational quotes in baggies and then hide them in geocaches whenever we find them to, like, brighten people's day. And uh, we haven't done that one on our videos yet because we keep forgetting the rocks at home because, like, you know. Yeah, that like, or we go to places where we've already found all the geocaches. So, like... Or sometimes, like, we're just... I don't know. We're not. Sometimes we don't even plan to go on a nature journey. It just happens. Yeah, we didn't actually plan on nature journey in today, but, like... We uh, got off work and it was nice out and we we're like, let's just go down the road and hit Prairie Creek. And so we did. This is a great place to just have right down the road from you. If you like are ever nature-y and want to hit a trail like that, it's a good spot. Really probably about the only like super good trail that we have in this town. Some of them are okay, but like this is like a legit trail. Yeah. Yeah, this, this trail's pretty fun. Um, it's definitely a workout. Oh, yes. Like, we obviously, we've been um, cooped up in the house quite a bit. And, well, we pay for a gym membership, but are very rarely motivated to go, when, especially when it's cold outside, because you don't want to get out in the cold. But... Yeah. Hold on, there's another eye on that tree. Oh, another one. Let me zoom in here. Another one. Another one. Whew. Oh man, yes. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm just getting tired. Your turn. Okay. Here we go. A little bit of a cameraman switch. Yeah. Don't expect any zoom or fancy. I don't even know how to work this thing. I just know how to hold it. <laughs> I'll teach you eventually. Yeah. I do find it funny though that, like, obviously I do it out of habit anyways, so I'm definitely not dissing you in the slightest, but I always end up carrying like all of the bags. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've got my backpack, obviously, and then the camera bag, and. <laughs> I have like <laughs> this bottle empty of bottle of water and Is it empty? me. <laughs> yeah. I only got like three drinks out of that. Well, you should have known. You gotta get it while it's here. Oh. Guess I could put this empty bottle of water in your bag. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What do you want me to carry? No, I'm fine. I'm I'm really fine. Like I don't I don't mind it. I'm just already out of shape as it is, so... Yeah. You know, adding extra weight doesn't necessarily help. Well, or it does help. Well, I guess... You gotta look at it that way, too. Yes, technically it does help, but... I want to ease myself into it, not just go crazy. You should remind me to wear my weight vest next time we do this. Got it. 
I'm definitely am gonna wear it. I'm not gonna remember to tell you. I'm gonna have to just lay it on the floor so that we see it next time we're leaving to go on a nature journey. Oh man, another obstacle. There's so much mud here. Neither of us are wearing shoes that are like good for mud because we didn't really know we were gonna do this, so. Well, I, I mean, I wore my shoes that I don't really care about if they get dirty, so. I wore my shoes that I care about, but they're also knockoff Hey Dudes from Walmart that cost like $15, so like it's, it's I could fun. probably just get more, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and nobody knows, there's this dude at work today that was like, oh, that's cool, man, I got a pair of Hey Dudes too, and I'm like, Seriously? yeah, bro, they're so comfy. Because these are comfy, but they're from Walmart, but like, if you just glanced at them, you wouldn't know. Oh no, not at all. I'm not real big into the name brand stuff. Like, I mean, I, there's some things that I will only buy name brand of, but like, I'm not, I'm not a materialistic person. Yeah, I broke you of that name brand grocery thing. That was like, I was like, listen, All right. knockoff I, I is the same. I disagree though. There are some generic brands of certain foods that do not taste like the brand that you like. I agree with you on pasta salad. <laughs> Knockoff pasta salad is not as good as the, what's the name brand? Like pasta sides or? The Nor pasta sides. Nor pasta sides. No, those are no, those, those noodles. Are the cooked ones. Um, I don't remember. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know, but that, the box is prettier. It's the name brand. It's not the Kroger or the Walmart kind. Yeah. Or wherever you live, like you might have. That's true. What are other ones? What are other, whatever you have. Oh my gosh, Meyer. this looks like a toilet. Didn't you? I think I used it as a toilet one time actually when we were did here. Pee in it. You're like, I have to. It looks like a toilet, so I have to pee in it. And honestly, all you did was fertilize the soil. Not True. Like but tell me this doesn't look like a toilet. Like, got it from the side. That is a toilet. That's what the pioneers used as toilets. They found a hole in a tree. Seriously, if you were a pioneer and you had to dig holes to poop in all the time, but then you just happen to find that tree. <laughs> like, that would we make your using day. That tree all day. Yeah, because you'd have somewhere to sit your butt on. Yeah. People would be fighting over that tree. For real. Seriously. Wow, look at that sunset. It's like not quite far enough down that you can't really stare at it. You can videotape it. But I'd say when it falls down another couple inches from my perspective, we'll be able to admire the sunset. Probably around the time we're done. Whoa. Sorry. That's okay. Told you I don't know how to do this. No, well, you can't be that close to me. I know you like to be close to me, but <laughs> if you wanna record me, you can't be that close to me. But that's okay. Yes. Will you swing on that vine? Absolutely not. Eventually, one of these times, we are going to have to allow our viewers to see how much of a tree hugger you are. Yes! I'm going to have to practice for that one. It's yeah. been a while. Practice. I'm going to need to find that athletic cup that I have. <laughs> because I've noticed that it kind of hurts. Okay, hold on. This is a pig nut hickory. Right here. I can tell by the bark. That's a pig nut hickory every day of the week. I only remember that because I used to go to school with this guy who was like a hardcore, like, like a, he just sold firewood all the time and he'd like chopped wood his whole life and he would like argue with the teacher sometimes. If they thought the teacher was wrong, he'd be like, he'd be, he'd be like, nah, that's a pig nut hickory. I swear to God, man, it's a pig nut hickory. <laughs> I can like hear him saying it, but. He, that's how I know what it is because I remember him talking about the bark. It's funny like what you learn from certain people that come into your lives like. Yeah. You have definitely taught me a lot. Do you remember that one um, geocache that's up by the um, road over here? Yeah, yeah. And it's like a treacherous climb up there. Yes. It's called um, the land between two bridges. Yes, you have to go up. Yeah, okay, so there's a geocache. Oh, wow, another tree. 
down in front of the bridge. Another obstacle! I got Another this. obstacle. I got this. Let's see what she does. Wow! Stunting. She's stunting on him. Stunting yeah, so on him. Obviously, the, the clue is like the land between two bridges. So you have two bridges here and land. Land! Let me. Alright, so now you see the two bridges. Yeah, this was another geocache that was here. And then, so there's this little spot of land in between them. Then you gotta walk all the way up there, and it's all the way up by the road. But that was one that we, uh, when we were noobs and we went geocaching here, I think we found one. That but then we came back after we were like seasoned vets and found them all. But that was one that was like a really hard one for us to find. So I'm just gonna point out that my watch literally just now recorded that I was on an outdoor workout. Really? It was like, uh, would you like to record your workout? And then it said outdoor workout? I'm like, where have you been? It's like it's a little late now. I'm pretty sure this is the field. This is, yeah, this is like basically the end of it. Like The roads are right over there too. What are you doing? I never noticed how close some of these trails went to the road. I feel like they like took a lot of trees out. Well, part of it too is because it's not, it's not blooming and there's, it's all dead, so. Yeah. It looks a lot more uh, sparse. Is that the word I'm looking sparse, for? Sparse, yeah. Oh, look at me using big words properly. Wow. Yep, so this is where it comes back out to the field. And this is where we would have started had we went right at the beginning, so. That, that is one thing I do like, is trails that loop so that you never get lost. And it's like you stay on the trail, you're a okay. It's the same trail, but like going on it forward and backwards is two different things, two different experiences. Oh my god! What? We traded Devonte Adams to the Raiders for two prime 2022 picks. No way! We traded Devonte Adams. Wow. Like, what? How? Like, I get it. He wanted a lot of money. Live then, reaction. But then, like, okay, so all of these people were, like, bitching about Aaron Rodgers' deal. And he even came out on Twitter and said, that is not the deal I'm signing. But yet they wanted to, the media just wanted to false advertise. And it, it ended up being, like, $50 million less than what people thought. Yeah. And it's like... Wow. And Devontae wanted to get, but he played with Derek Carr in college. <laughs> I get it. I mean, I get it. We'll, we still have Lizard. Sorry, that's Alan Lazard for our viewers, but when you look at the back of his jersey, it looks like Lizard, so I just call him Lizard. By the way, we're big Packers fans. I'm sure you picked up on that, but I don't think we ever really said. Go Pack Go. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so live react. We got a nature journey and a live reaction to Devontae. I don't know how to feel about it. Um, Devonte came into the league as a, uh, I believe, second or third round draft pick, and um, oops, he struggled at first, but he really like turned it around, and he's one of the best receivers in the NFL now. But sounds like we're gonna be moving on without him. I don't know what exactly the draft compensation was, so it's hard for me to judge at well, this it's moment. Prime picks, so if it's anything less than a first, I'm gonna be upset. Seriously. I, I get you. I get you. So, I don't know, like... First and a third is what I would guess. Like, I know we're supposed to be, like, nature journey in, but I do kind of want to bring up um, the whole, I don't know if you've seen it, quarterback debacle that's going on with the Browns right now. Yeah. So, like, they... Deshaun Watson was obviously cleared of all charges, so he was open market and the Browns tried to get him and then he was like nah I'm not going to the Browns well then Baker Mayfield's like hey um you trying to get them to him to the Browns like what about me and so now he's like I want traded yeah I it's like betrayed. a mess and it's like oh my gosh what the problem though is like who do they have in their organization that's leaking this information because I totally get why you would go after Watson he's way better than May than Mayfield like by by a ton um, but, like, why did Mayfield have to know about it? If everybody's doing their job, then there shouldn't be rumors. Like, did you ever hear a rumor about Devontae getting traded to the Raiders? Mm. Well, there were some pictures. 
circulating. Oh, I, maybe I don't. Together. Maybe um, I don't pay attention, but. Well, see, I scroll through Facebook sometimes, and I'm like part of like some Packers fans groups, so I always like they always pop up on my feed, and I saw one of Derek Carr and Devontae Adams like hugging at the end of a game. Wait, stop. Okay, go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, continue. Don't confuse me. Wait, stop. We gotta look both ways. All right, we're good. We're good. Yeah, the nature trail is on the other side of the road is the park. Now we're heading back into the park. Yep. When we come up to the where we like park our car, they actually just built this new outdoor workout equipment. Yeah, we didn't even mention that. Exercise equipment. So you can like come out here and out in nature, but then work out on like these this gym set. So that's that's a pretty cool idea. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, and you know, you, you worry about people vandalizing or stealing, which is sad. I mean, but they put the effort into it and it's actually not that bad we can give you guys a look at it here in a second because well, we're gonna walk right by it <laughs> but yeah so i feel like i just went on a rant anything to add sweetheart well i'm i don't know if you can see it but there's right here is part of the pond um so, yeah, there's some little picnic areas and stuff, but over there past that shelter on the right-hand side, that is part of the pond. It goes back there quite a ways. Like I said, there's a lot of big bass in there. I've seen them. But then, here is the outdoor gym spot. And, you know, it's not a lot, but, like, a lot of places don't have outdoor gyms, I feel like. At least not around here. But, yeah, pretty good. Well. Oh, look, babe, they have the um, bike park lake jump schedule. What? Lake jump? Yeah. Oh, Griffin Bike Rampus. Park. That's very, oh my gosh, this is meant to be. Oh, look, they have ice skating. That's Hawthorne Park. July 16th. Okay. How are they going to do ice skating in July? Ages 5 plus. $5 skating fee, $1 train rides. Oh, that sounds like fun. Did Look, they got all the different plants up here, too. Spring flower hike field guide. Oh, would you look at that? What were you saying? Well, they have this map here. And so this is this little square right here shows the Elliot Elliot Woods Nature Preserve, which is where we just walked. But these are all of the trails inside Prairie Creek. Holy crap, I didn't know about that. There's Miami Loop, Swap Flow Loop, or Sap Flow, Sop. <laughs> Maple Ridge Loop, Cabin Loop. See, we've only done little the, pond. We've loop. done the little pond loop. Yeah. Before that's right over here. It's pretty cool. But anyway, I think it's about time to go ahead and finish this baby off. Yes. I don't know how to stop it, so you're gonna have to do that. <laughs> well, just always make sure that if you visit like a park in your area, that um, you always check these little boards here, because you never know what like cool thing you're gonna find. Oh, look, they even have, this is probably for last year, but they have a Fowler Park After Dark. What? The night before Halloween is when this one was, but that was probably last year. That was probably 2021. Huh. Um, Pioneer Day at Fowler Park. I want to go to that this year. Well, it's in, it's in the fall. So I wonder if they allow cameras. I don't know. Okay, like here's back. this. So cool. This is the, wa the trail that we just walked. So, it's 7,850 feet. Why couldn't they not have put that in miles? What is it? How many? 7,850. Well, a mile is like 5,000 or something. So, a little bit more. Wow. I can't oh. believe that about Devonte. Anyway, thanks for joining us, everyone. We're going to go home and eat, so... Yes, see so you next, next time, time on yes. Adventures with Vices. Yes.